welcome back to my channel my name is Iman and today I'm going to be reading you guys a little bit of the Baby Skits Club Little Sisters Karen which I'm so excited to read you guys this book because I am a book lover and I always wanted to read you guys a book on my channel because I just love reading so grab a snack get comfy definitely grab a snack and let's begin babysitters little sister Karen switch Chapter 1. My name is Karen Brewer. I am 6 going on 7 years old and I think I'm very lucky. I'm lucky because my brother, my little brother, Andrew, and I have two families. Are you ready for a weekend at daddy's house? Yep. Andrew. Mommy and daddy got divorced and then married other people. So now I have lots of twos. Toys. Tiki, my special blanket. Pairs of jeans, party shoes. I also have two houses. One is big and one is small. Mommy and Seth live in the little house. Maggie, Rocky. A whole bunch of people live at the big house. Daddy, Elizabeth, Charlie, Sam, even Michael, Christy, Boo Boo, Shannon. Here are the good things about having two families. Birthday, Christmas, and all those other twos. Here are the bad things about having two families. Different rules. I forget the spying rule a lot. Andrew and I live at the big house every other weekend. The big house is noisy and busy, and someone is always there to play with me. Also, a witch lives next door. I know she's a witch because I spy on her all the time. Daddy's rule is no spying, but I can't help it. A witch is scary, but interesting. The witch says her name is Mrs. Potter, but I call her Morbida Destiny. Smells funny, long black robes, midnight, wispy gray hair, herb garden for spells. I once told Christy, she put three spills on Boo Boo this year. Christy doesn't believe she's a witch. It just goes to show that even when you're 13, you don't know everything. If you live next door to a witch, wouldn't you spy? It, it is important to know what she's up to. Bye, Mommy. Love you. See you Sunday. No one else believes she's a witch, but I know about Morbida Destiny. I know she's a witch and I have to protect my family. Hey, wait up. Doesn't it feel like fall to you? Yep, but it isn't. I know, but doesn't it feel like it? Yep. It's gray and chilly, the wind is blowing, and look at the full moon. It's fall. Not really, but it feels like it. A good night for witching. Hello, everyone. We're here. Hi, you guys. Hi, Daddy. Come put your backpacks away. Okay. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Boo Boo. Hello, Tiki. Hello, Muzi. Looks like I'm babysitting you, David, Michael, and Angie tonight. Yay! See ya. We're gonna be late for the dance. Bye, Lip Daddy. Bye, Elizabeth. Have fun, everyone. Well, guys, just us. Do you want to play old maid? Meow. Meow. Is that coming from the front door? That's Boo Boo. I'll let him in. Ah! Chapter 2. Prowl? Ah! What is it? What's the matter? What's the matter? That's the matter. Midnight? So what? He probably just wants to play with Boo Boo. But, Christy, that's the witch's cat. Or maybe the witch herself. And he's blinking at me. I know he's here to pull me under a spell. Maybe Morbid Destiny wants to turn me into a cat. Why would she want to do that? Let's finish our game. Andrew and David Michael are waiting for us.
shudder, shiver. Christy, I'm scared. Oh, Karen, it will be all right. Really? What took you so long? For your information, it was not boo-boo at the door. Who was it then? It was midnight. More bitter Destiny's cat? You guys, what's the big deal? The big deal is that a witch's cat or the witch herself was on our front porch. Midnight has never came over here before. I wonder why he chooses tonight. Maybe because of, maybe because it's a full moon. The wind is blowing. It's a witchy autumny night. I think you're scaring your brother. Christy, let's not play old maid anymore. Let's read stories. But no witch stories. I want witch stories. I know a witch story that's not scary. It's called a tooth witch. It's about a good witch who becomes the tooth fairy. That sounds boring. Now I want another witch story. Not me. No more witch stories. Me neither. No more stories at all. It's bedtime anyway. Go upstairs and brush your teeth. All three of you. And Karen, when you're ready for bed, I'll read you The Littlest Witch. Deal? Deal. Everyone hop into bed. Are you ready for your bedtime story? I would like that book even better if we didn't have our own witch right next door. We don't. We do. Good night. Stop thinking about witches. Chapter 3. Do you want to know a secret? I am afraid of the dark. Not very afraid, just a little afraid. Well, maybe more than a little afraid. But don't think I'm a baby about it. A soul, a soul, a soul. I'm not sleepy. Too spooky. Click. Karen, what are you doing? Nothing. Morbida Destiny is a witch. That's a fact. I've seen her in her witchy black clothes lots of times. I've seen her funny hair. I've seen her herbs and I've seen her broom. But do you want to know something strange? I've never seen her ride a broom. All witches ride brooms. Maybe witches only ride brooms at night. That would make sense. If they rode them in the daytime, people would see them. I'll watch more bit of Destiny's house until I see her get on her broomstick. Then I'll call Christy. When Christy sees Mrs. Potter riding a broom, she'll finally believe that she's a true witch. Wrestle, wrestle, loom. Creak. Hey, hey, hey. Karen, what's wrong? Are you sick? Did you hurt yourself? Turn off the light. Now come look out the window. Hurry. I don't see anything. Me neither. Then why did you scream? Because Mrs. Potter really is more bitter destiny. The witch. I saw her and Minai fly out that window on a broomstick. Oh, Karen, you must have been dreaming. I wasn't. I hadn't gone to sleep yet. Are you sure? You went to bed an awfully long time ago. I did. Karen, would you like to sleep in my room tonight? Can I bring my nightlight and Muzi and Tuki? Of course. I'm going to pull the shades down so we can't see outside. I'd like that. Are you sleepy yet? No. I'm too scared. Still? A little. Karen, I've never seen you so scared. Calm down. I can't. Mrs. Potter is a witch. Open the door wider, please.
Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time. Okay, guys, it's the end of me reading you guys chapters one to four of The Babysitter's Little Sister, Karen's Witch. And also, if you guys are excited for me to read the other books in the series, which are Karen's Roller Skates and Karen's Worst Day, give this video a big thumbs up and also give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more read alouds. Here's a sneak peek. I just want to quickly pop in here and tell you guys you can find this book at your local bookstore or on Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. Bye! But before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified each time I post a new video, and share it with your family and friends. I hope you guys like this video. Bye!